Index is selling out its stake to a Japanese company called Daichi Sankyo. What does it really mean? More than a decade of control for Malvin the Mohan Singh of a company which was set up by his grandfather but really touched the skies thanks to his father's zeal to make the first multi Indian multinational. Today Malvin the Singh in an emotional sold off the stake to the Japanese company setting new standards for Indian pharmaceuticals industry. Randbax series Refine is what we are calling it. As a family, for the promoters at Ranbaxi, it has certainly been an emotional decision. Malvinder Mohan Singh has sold out from Ranbaxi. Not an easy decision, but a whole lot of money and a brand new path for him to set a journey on, where he will no longer own what he manages. To me, Ranbaxi is my life, it's my blood. Uh, to me, that is really uh, far, far more uh, in terms of what I call family than what I've been doing anywhere else. And irrespective of me having shareholding or not, that's really never, never been important to us. What's important is the vision for the company. It is what we do every single day. The promoters of Rambaxi, the Singh family, will sell their entire 34.8% stake in the company to Diachi for a whopping $3.4 billion to $4.6 billion, which means that Diachi is paying the Ranbaxi promoters 737 rupees for every share when the present market price is 560 rupees. This is, I think, the best deal after exploring and evaluating different permutations and combinations. This is what we chose as the most optimal deal. I think everybody is extremely excited. On the face of it, this is a big dose of money, whereby the deal is valued at a 55% premium to the three-month average and 31% premium to the present price. And the company is now valued at almost a 70% premium when it comes to the market cap of $5 billion, since the deal values it at over $8.5 billion. Ranbaxi purchase gives Tokyo-based Daiichi, a company that manufactures and sells low-cost generic drugs in 50 countries. You know, competition is never going to go away. And in a global environment which Ranbaxi has always operated and thrived, we are used to competitive pressures, we are used to competing and winning. So I don't think it's an issue of, of the environment getting more competitive, but I think it is more of an issue about how you see the environment evolving. You know, Iman, probably it would be the, uh, num rank number 15 in the world. Present, Daiichi Sankyo is at 22. Now the big question is, where does all this money go? Remember, the Ranbaxi group will have 3,500 crores. Malvinder Singh has indicated that he will be looking at strategic acquisition opportunities within the Indian pharmaceutical space. They've already announced the open offer for Zenotech. It also means the promoters will have a whopping 10,000 crores, which they will use to invest in the already uh, promoter group controlled companies, Fortis Healthcare and Religare. Big question is, where will all the money go? The Singh family will get 10,000 crore rupees. The money will be spent on other group companies, Fortis and Religare, while some of the money will be used to cleaning up the debt at Ranbaxi. That is a part of Ranbaxi's investment that remain in Ranbaxi. Every asset remains in Ranbaxi. And uh, this becomes a part of a larger group. Now, as Ranbaxi puts itself on a global map, it will play a bigger role in Japan's pharmaceutical industry. And this man will become the son of the soil in the land of rising sun.